Hello all, today I will demonstrate you how to use radio button and radio group in Android Kotlin. So let's start developing Android Studio project. First of all you can click on start new Android Studio project. Then you can choose the empty activity. Then you can click on next. Here you can just give the name of your application. I am just giving the name of my application is radio button demo. Then you can choose the language that whatever you want to choose. I want to develop it in Kotlin. So I'm choosing the language that is Kotlin. Then you can click on finish. Let me mention first of all what I want to do over here. I want to take the four radio buttons in which I want to uh, <clears throat> whenever I select on any radio button, I want to show the message that which radio button is selected. And whenever cl user click on any clear option at that time, the radio button selection should be deselect. So first of all, you can move to design. Here I'm just uh, clicking on show system UI. Then you can just click on split. So the both window, code window and design window will be opened. Here you can simply remove this text view. Now here you can uh, simply take a one text view and you can put over here on the top then you can just click on info constraint here in this text view you can just write it is a radio button demo then uh, you can just give the text style that is bold you can give the text color that is for example primary dark and even you can give the text size that is for example 20 point or you can reduce it it is 14 point it is okay now now here i want to take the four radio buttons but whenever you are selecting the radio button the individually you can select the radio button option so to make the radio button group you need to take a radio group over here so here you can search for radio group you can simply move drag and drop the radio group over here and then you can just click on in for constraint here in this radio group you can simply give the width that is match parent and a height that is match parent. Once you give the width and height to this radio group, now you can put a radio button inside this group. So here you can search for the radio button. You can simply move drag and drop radio button one over here. Then you can put one more button of the radio button. That is you can simply move drag and drop radio button number two, uh, radio button number three radio button number four once you put all the radio button over here now you can just give the height of the radio group that is wrap content so here you can put another group also now uh, here you can just uh, rename your radio button text you can just give the text that is a uh, radio button one text that is option one here you can give the option two here you can give a uh, option three and here you can mention that this is the option button number four now what i want to do whenever users select any option button i want to put the message in my text view the width should not be match parent it should be wrap content and i want the text view should be over here so whenever you choose any option i want to put that particular message over here in this text view so you can simply click on info constraint now whenever user click on any option i want to put the message in this text view so this is the text view number two here also you can increase the text size i'm just giving the text size that is 12 point now whenever user click on any option i want to put message over here so for that you can just write the code in a radio group here, here you can move to kotlin file here you can simply write radio group that is the name of your object this is the name of the object that is available over here that is the radio group name now you can simply write here radio group dot set on check change listener it means that whenever the user uh, click on any radio button that id will be retrieved by this i and this i is the variable which returns the id of the particular value so you can simply write here variable rb is equal to find view by id and you can cast it into radio button and you can pass the simply i so what happened if rb 
not equal to null. It means the value is not null. Then I want that the text view two dot set text and that will be rb dot text dot to string. So what happened? Whenever I execute this application, what it will do? Based on the selection of my option button, that is radio button, the message will be available in my text view number two, and it will retry the runtime which ID of the button is uh, selected. So based on this I, it will retry the radio button ID. The respective radio button will be initialized in this variable RB, and uh, based on this, I'm just getting the text. So whenever I click on option two, the option two message available over here. Whenever I click on option one, the option one is selected. Option three, option four. But what? But what if I want to deselect the option? It means whenever user click on any button, I want to deselect this option. Once I selected the option, then I want to deselect the option. At that time, you can take one more object that is button one widget over here. Now, whenever user click on this button, I just want that the option button should be deselected. So uh, this is the object name that is the button. So whenever user click on this button, I want to just uh, I want that the all the options should be deselected. So you can simply write button dot set on click listener, and you can simply call radio group dot clear check. And even you can set the message in text view too that set text choose an option. You can uh, re-execute this application also, but I just want to give the name of this button that is clear option. So you can simply execute this application and you can see that whenever user click on any particular option, the option will be available in the text view. For example, if I click on option two, option two is available over here. If I click on option four, then option four is available over here. But if I click on clear option, then all the option is cleared and the choose an option text is available over here. Here you can also uh, move the, this particular text view so that uh, this text view is not resized properly. So you can simply cut this text view or you can just resize it properly and even you can just uh, remove this uh, constraint and then uh, after this you can simply put this uh, text view that T is available over here and then you can click on info constraint and then after you can re-execute your application you can just see that what happened whenever you execute this application you can simply check whenever I click on any option the option is available over here. If you click on clear option, then choose an option. It means the option is, uh, all the option is deselected and the message choose an option is available over here. Whenever you see uh, put the radio button inside any group, it means you can select only one option from the group. But if you are not putting any radio button inside any group, then by default, each radio button uh, is uh, selected and deselected. So uh, you need to take care that uh, for every group you need to put the radio button inside the radio group. That's it from my side. If you like this video then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.